Hi, welcome to the Gapster channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm going to talk about a very interesting product by X Infrared Company. Uh, it's the, uh, used to be also called Infrared and that's the P2 Pro camera. So it's an infrared camera that can see more in a thermal way rather than a or traditional way. And you might ask why that's going to help me. And uh, so let's dive in and see what this camera can do. So the camera comes in a small sleek box and uh, when you open it you get a manual inside and then you could see the camera and beside it there is a macro lens and the macro lens help you get a little closer if you need to get really close to certain objects. Uh, so we're going to pull the camera and it's pretty small and that's a very good advantage because you can get it into small areas and that's going to really help us go into some electronic uh, boards and get into certain areas that normally we cannot get with something big. As soon as you open the P2 thermal uh, software, it prompts you to put the camera. This is the iOS version, so all you have to do is slide it down here. And uh, within a few seconds, you are going to be taking basically thermal images. So we're just going to let it load. I usually prefer the settings here because it gives you more temperatures and colors are more realistic for the heat. So let's see what we can do with that. Okay, first example. So we have a circuit board that's actually malfunctioning and something probably shorting on it and overheating. And it's rather than poking your finger in there and trying to see what's hot and what's not hot, we're going to bring the camera. So I've got it right here. So I put a little extension cord on it. So this will make it a little easier to, to move around. Because you see it's pretty small and you can move around fairly, fairly easily. And let's focus on the board and see what's hot. Okay, so let's have a look. So right away you could see that there's something hot in here. And uh, as you can tell, there's a resistor here that's uh, registering close to uh, 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, I think you're looking about uh, 98 right now. And I'm uh, just going to move it a bit more here to the center. Yeah, about 92, 93 degrees. So I increase the voltage here a little bit more. You're going to see the temperature rise. Here we go. We passed 103 mark. So it's getting really dangerously hot. By the way, this is a simulation. I'm just trying to show you um, a hot resistor by applying some voltage to it. Just, uh, But in real life, you'll see it more on the actual board. So you have a, a board that's shorting. You can sometimes apply a very little voltage, like one volt, and like it tells you what's shorting and what's hot in there. Another great example for this is, let's say you're using, a, you're trying to test a tube amplifier and you've got 500 volts that's sitting in here and you really do not want it to, to get your finger in there. So that's going to show you what, what's hot and what's not hot. If I point it to my face, you can see, let's just do it this way. You can see my face uh, temperature signature here and it shows you different temperatures on my face. As you can see, it's about 29, 30 degrees here. Usually the mouth and the, uh, and the forehead are, are the hottest part of the, uh, of the uh, temp of the face. So it gives you the signature. You can see this in total darkness. This has nothing to do with light. This is a pure sensing of temperature. And that's what you, know, you see in the ceiling or over here. Here you could see that there's a light right there. And you could see that the light here is, is hot. It's 63 degrees. That's the temperature of that light in the ceiling. So it does record and it's pretty accurate temperatures. I've measured a few of them with a laser uh, temperature sensor. It's actually fairly accurate, the uh, temperature sensors. Here you can see my cat. And you can see that it's, uh, that's his heat signature. About 26, 28 degrees. Oh, here he comes. Some of the uh, technical feature is that it's considered the smallest thermal camera in the world, it's at least as uh, what they claim to be. And it is pretty small, as uh, you guys can see. Uh, it has a 25 hertz refresh rate. It can sense temperatures anywhere from minus 4 Fahrenheit to over 1,000, basically 11, 1,100 Fahrenheit. So it's got a, f a fairly wide uh, range. 
the dynamic range on it is, is fairly good as well. So you can actually di discern different temperatures close to each other, which is, which is also pretty good. So here you have it. As you can see, it's got multiple uses. Uh, it's a great little camera. By the way, it's about $300 uh, US uh, and you can get a 10% off right now. I'll put a little coupon link uh, in, the, uh, in the bottom if you're interested. I'm not sure how long this, I think this expires fairly soon at the end of April, but if there's another one later on, I can always uh, update it if uh, there's another promotion. Uh, so, uh, so the camera can, as you can see, it has multiple uses. For us as DIYers, I think the best way to use it is to detect heat, sign heat signatures of your, uh, of your board and see what is going on. Hey, do you have any components that are really overheating past, let's say, the, the threshold where it can be get or it can get damaged? Uh, or the biggest also, another big one is for tube amplifier. Anything with high voltage that you really do not want to be poking your fingers around and trying to sense uh, the temperature and uh, let's face it our fingers are uh, more delicate than we want to use them as a sensor probe for things it works on some low voltage products that are big and easy to get to but small things and uh, sometimes the thing is uh, the heat could be coming from the back of the board or another component is today's components we have multi layers so it's hard to find anything with a sensing with your finger but putting something like this a camera like that it really puts the perspective of all the heat signatures uh, it's also a great thing to use for night vision you could uh, use it in complete darkness and you could see uh, different things outside or in the room it's actually a very helpful uh, device it depends on uh, what you're using it for you might find some great uses for it. I hope this video was very helpful and uh, that from time to time I bring a couple of interesting products that I use that help me uh, detect uh, things in my DIY journey and uh, that's uh, definitely uh, one of them. If you want to see some of my other videos I'll put a couple links here in my uh, thing. I'll put a link up here about how to how I built my speakers, for example, and I'll put a little icon on the bottom on how, if you would like to subscribe to this channel, uh, to just click on that and basically subscribe from there. Uh, hope to see you again. Take care and see you another time.